Barber TV, Every Time Fire, we love you, we respect you, and we always will support you because you are you showed your love, your concern, right. your sincerity for the people of the Brownsville community. Long live Barber TV. Peace. Peace and Black Power, welcome to another edition of Baba TV, Every Time Fire, back out here in Brownsville, and to my joyous surprise, we have Melchizedek Supreme Shabazz Allah, Universal High Priest of the Nation of Islam on Earth and in the Universe, out here, back out here in his, I think, original community in Brownsville, out here with Seville and Seville's community in Brownsville and I'll just let them uh, expound on what you see on Seville's table add it to Seville's table out here in Brownsville Brooklyn peace love and happiness as you know I be Melchizedek Supreme Shabazz Allah of the Nation of Islam on earth and in the universe and I'm out here in Brownsville at the uh, brother Seville Supreme Shabazz Allah location on a Rockaway Avenue between Pickett and Dumont he's here Pickett and Belmont uh, Pickett and Belmont excuse me Rockaway Avenue between Pickett and Belmont he's here Thursday Fridays and Saturdays He's here to service the community that he's been doing for many years, servicing the community and keeping consciousness alive for the elevation for the young generation. Now in my hand I have this here. This is Supreme Wisdom from Master W.D. Farad Muhammad. Lessons that he gave to his servant, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, for the lost foundation of Islam in America. These are the original lessons that was brought to the wilderness of North America by Almighty God Allah, who came in the person of Master W.D. Farad Muhammad. And it's a pleasure to be out here. I want all the guards in Medina, if you can't get to Mecca, it's right here on Rockaway Avenue, between Pickin Avenue and Dumont. Every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, okay? Proprietor, uh, uh, founder, director, administrator, the whole nine yards is Seville Supreme Shabazz Allah. It's a pleasure to be in his company. Now hold on, I have one more for you. We also have here at his location is the FOI training manual for the young generation. You, when you raise a young generation, they have to be disciplined. They have to be civilized, cultured, and refined. Highly intelligent, educated, about going to school, getting the education, okay? Uh, uh, be, be, get into the professional uh, arena in the system. Also learning a trade. Not just going to school for uh, 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 one thing, Going to school for education is one thing, but you also, they must have a trade so that way they can be independent and be of great need when we are building a nation. The FOI training, man, the training manual for the young generation, the training of men to prepare them for the future in building a nation for themselves and their people. Now we have supreme, le supreme lessons of the gods and earth. Okay, our beloved brother, okay, the, the father of the gods and earth, the, the God who left the temple and came out in the street 
and supplied the young generation with supreme lessons, okay? He went to all the housing developments, all the community centers, all out in the street, all in the parks, okay? Wherever the young babies were, he went to make sure they had supreme lessons, okay? And that's what's keeping them afloat today. And that's one of the largest, one of the largest youth organizations or nations in the country. And it's one thing about them, they keep knowledge available and born for the young generation, okay? Then we have Supreme Guide to the Ministry. The Supreme Guide to the Ministry takes you further in understanding those who want to be a minister, teach, pass it on to the young generation. They give you the direction of Supreme uh, 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 Guide to the Ministry. So you can have be well equipped along with the Supreme Wisdom. This will also make you well equipped as far as teaching teaching remember it's about teaching temple temple means teaching and learning Mars is prayer and worship but praying or worship is a waste of time if you're not taught and learned after you're taught and learned then you can go into the prayer and worship but after you're taught and learned and prayer remember after that comes economics Regardless of how many Qurans you read, how many Bibles you read, how many Hadiths you read, or how often you pray. If you don't equip yourself and involve yourself in, 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 with the foundation of economics, which is the foundation of building any nation, you must have uh, a foundation of economics. Economics is the key for civilization, especially when you're trying to build a nation. FOI training manual. FOI training manual. You want to know why the young generation, okay, behave the way they do? Because they haven't been trained. This is the FOI training manual for all young boys, all men. Join the FOI. Why? Because the FOI training classes teach you supreme knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. They teach you about the sun, moon, and star. Then they teach you the freedom, justice, and equality. Then they teach you the best of food, the best of clothes, the best of shelter, the best of, the best of transportation, and take a vacation. The training manual disciplines you, okay? It, 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 it introduced you to constant study, the knowledge of yourself. It makes you civilized, cultured, and refined. This is the purpose of the F.O. Training, uh, training Manual, also the military training for the men that belongs to the nation of Islam and the world of North America. This teaches you how to respect your mother, respect your sister, respect your wife, respect your daughter, okay, and elevate protection of the black woman. Just to teach the black woman, respect the black woman, okay, and protect the black woman and always have love and respect for the black woman because when you love and respect the black woman you love your mother you show respect for her you love your sister you you, you pay you show respect for her you you you, you, you and your daughter you show respect for her okay oh and all family members all black women uh, 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 which is the queen mother of civilization you show them utmost respect for them, along with respect, protect, okay, at all times. This is what we do, and this is what it's all about. On, on and, and uh, all, all, all about on Rockaway Avenue, between uh, Pickett Avenue and Dumau. This is available for all of the young brothers and sisters, okay, in, in the Brownsville area, all right? And for the sisters, the MGT GCC manual is on its way. What is the duty of MGT GCC? It let the black woman know what her place in the nation or what she's supposed to do, how she's supposed to respond, and her, 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 her maximum contribute, contributing to her husband, her children, as far as taking care of them, raising her children, providing proper food and dietary law for their children, take care of her husband, and all everything else that's on its way. Now I'm going to turn you back over to the proprietor, the owner, the founder, okay, who is Seville Supreme Shabazz Allah, location, Rockaway Avenue.
between Pickin Avenue and, and Belmont, okay? Pickin Avenue and Belmont. He's here Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And more material will be here. Okay, we're going to set everything that pertains to the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad will be available right here. So I want everybody of this location, of this area, come here and focus on the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad that he prepared and left in book form for the young generation and also the entire nation. Love, peace, and happiness. I'm going to turn you over to Seville Supreme Shabazz Allah. Peace, 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 peace. It's one thing that we have to recognize is that knowledge is the foundation of all things in life. First you have to have knowledge, which is the foundation. Then you must have wisdom, which is the manifestation of the knowledge. Then it's drawn up into understanding. Then after the understanding, then the culture refinement comes into power. Power is five. Equality is six. Well, you deal with equality with your brothers and sisters. Then you have God, which is seven. You know what I'm saying? That's dealing with the individual uh, uh, physical body that we utilize, you know what I'm saying, with the spirit inside. Then we have build or destroy, which is the number eight. Either you will build or you will destroy. We have to understand is that this mindset have always been there. But you have to understand how to utilize it in your life. Either you build or you destroy. And then after that cipher, then you come into bond. Born means that something is being uh, manifested out of the womb of the woman, or something is being uh, first uh, known to you, being born to you. You know what I'm saying? Then we have knowledge at a cipher. That's in the number 10. You know what I'm saying? That's the completion of the whole circle. That's 360 degrees. You know what I'm saying? That's a completion. You know what I'm saying? This, this knowledge and wisdom and understanding that we have down here on this table is for those people who want to learn and, and know how to apply it to their life where they can make their life much better at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm, I'm so glad that this brother have gave me these, these, these this material so I can give it to my community, man, you know what I'm saying, and, and advance their uh, insight and advance them as individuals, man, so they will no longer be sleep, but they be wide awoke, you know what I'm saying, so they can change their lives. All right, my brother, um, let me take it from there. Yeah, but listen, it's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure, and I'm so I'm I'm so happy that he gave me the opportunity uh, to, to 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 do this display, okay, on Rockaway Avenue between uh, Dumont and Pickin Avenue. It's right here Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and I'm so happy that he gave me the opportunity to put to leave everything here for the benefit of everybody of this community, and we also got to go always give top respect to Baba TV Every Time Fire. This brother came all the way from Washington, D.C. down here to make it possible for the community and can have access and, and this wisdom be available for all the people of this community. So we always give love to Baba TV Every Time Fire. And you can go on his channel. He, he has everything of he, Yeah, right. He has everything available for you right here, as you can see. Everything's available for his community. Now, Melchizedek, I got one question, because I see you uh, around here in Brownsville, but you always in Harlem for those that might ask, what you doing, what you know about Brownsville, Melchizedek? <laughs> Let me tell you what I know about Brownsville. I used to live in Brownsville. I used to live on Chester Street between uh, Pickney Avenue and Sutter for years, right across the street from the, uh, uh, um, the post office. Also, I was in Brown, I used to go to the Pickin Theater on Pickin Avenue. I had to go to the Palace Theater on Pickin Avenue, okay? And Jeffrey Joe L., okay, the uh, Jeffrey Joe L. of the Morris Science uh, Temple, we used to roll, walk up and down Pickin Avenue. He was the one that built the um, Noble Jew Ali houses on East New York and Mother Gaskin. Jeffrey Joe L. of the Morris Science uh, 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 Nation. And Jeffrey Joe L. is also responsible for re renaming Betsy Hayes, Betsy Hayes Swimming Pool, Marcus Garvey Park, Jeffrey Joe L. And he also is the one that named the, uh, the built the housing development on uh, Livonia Avenue, okay, and uh, Rockaway. And he named that Marcus Garvey Houses. 
Jeffrey Joe L. of the Morris Science Temple, right here on Strout Street. I used to be with him, we was close, very close, because I was the bae. I'm a bae, okay? Now, now he, those are the things I want to repeat. The housing development, Noble Juwali Houses, on Mother Gasket in East New York was built by Jeffrey Joe L. of the Morris Science Temple. And also the, uh, the Betsy Hayes Swimming Pool was renamed Marcus Garvey Park by Jeffrey Joe L. And the, and the housing development on uh, Rockaway Avenue in Labonia was built by Jeffrey Joe L. And I also used to live in Atlantic Towers that big development, when Lang Tower was first was set up in 68. I was living there for over 10 years. Atlantic, that, that high rise uh, 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 middle income development. I was on 216 Rockaway Avenue, okay, in Atlantic for over 10 years, all right? And, I, and while I was living there, I also had the store established on Utica Avenue. 417 Utica Avenue between Montgomery and Empire Boulevard. I was over there for 12 years. All the guards know, because all the guards used to come there and get the 120 portrait of the father and the flag. And I also had the other store on uh, 116th Street up from the temple, okay? 116th Street and 7th Avenue for about 12 years. So I'm well known throughout the whole uh, 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 city of New York. And plus, I was supplying 25 stores with all the publications of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. The lessons, measure the black man for of America, how to eat to live, the final call building, everything. Well known. Oh, and where I was living in uh, the Brownsville area, I supplied all the lessons. That, at that time, I was giving all the lessons out free to all the guards. Katanga, his whole crew was out here. Uh, uh, Allah from Union Street, A.S.Lam, all those young guards was out here. Father Divine, they, all of them was out here. So I'm pretty, I'm well familiar with Brownsville because Brownsville is, is, was my home then and Brownsville is my home now and Brownsville will always be my home. And the reason why I love and respect Brownsville because they help circulate the 120 or the supreme wisdom all over Brownsville and also Medina and also in Mecca. And it's a pleasure to be here with Seville Supreme Shabazz Allah. Peace. <laughs> All right, Seville. Now, what do you think about uh, Melchizedek? Where was you at when Melchizedek was here? Was you coming up? Was you a young brother here coming up? Where, where was you at at that time? I think at that time, man, I was hanging, you know, down low. I wasn't here yet. You know what I'm saying? You know, you would say. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he's the young guard. The young yeah. guard coming up. I was young the young guard, guard coming up, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You know, at that at that particular time, man. But the experience that he's talking about, you know, I have I have heard about it. You know what I'm saying? And um, I watched the Brownsville projects. I mean, I come out of the Brownsville projects, but the, the three projects that I seen come up was Tilden. I seen that being built. I seen Cephalo being built. I seen Glenmore Plaza is being built, you know what I'm saying, you know, Howard, Van Dyke, and Brownsville project are the only projects that's originally here in Brownsville. All the other projects you see around the area have been built, have came up. And same when he was talking about, you know what I'm saying, Atlantic Towers, that's what they called it, Atlantic Towers. I watched that come up, you know what I'm saying, you know, so at the end of the day, man, you know, this brother, foundation is Brooklyn, Brownsville, you know what I'm saying? Even though he's uh, international, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's international, but this is the foundation yeah. where this brother comes from. You feel me? At the end of the day. Yeah. You see, a lot of the guards moved around different boroughs. We wasn't stuck in one borough. Right. We moved to Manhattan, Bronx, you know, Medina, you know what I'm saying? You know, we was all over the place. You know what I'm saying? When we was teaching, man, at, at, at the end of the day. Yeah. We used to teach in Queens, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We go out to Long Island. We went all over the place teaching knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Right. See, at that day and time, you had brothers and sisters on the street teaching, right. raising the dead up, man. You, right. know what I'm you don't see that no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we got to get the literature out right here, you know what I'm saying, so the people can actually come here and get it. Because right. a lot of them have lost yes. the knowledge of self. 
You know what I'm saying? The, in, in, in the first degree, so who's the original man? The original man's the Asiatic black man, the maker, the owner, the cream always rises to the top. You know what I'm saying? So that's the black man and woman, man, in this world right now. But Brownsville, man, is my foundation. This yeah. is where my root is. This is where I teach at. And this is where I remain at to this day. Excellent. You got to raise the young brothers up, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to raise them up. And the only way you can raise them up is give them knowledge. Right. If they don't have any knowledge, then they can't be raised up. Right. Yeah. And my, oh, yeah. Yeah. Brown, Brownsville is my home. Because when I used to live in, in the uh, uh, Pelon, okay, up in the Bronx, I, don't forget, I, I lived in the Bronx too. I was living in the Bronx as a young of uh, on uh, Washington Avenue, uh, Third Avenue. And then we moved down to uh, um, 135th Street, and then from 135th Street to 116th Street. So I'm from the Bronx, Manhattan, and and Brooklyn. Okay, and my sister, my older sister, was right here in the Van Dyke's houses, in the Van Dyke's houses. But uh, uh, Medina is my foundation. Medina, my, I circulated 120 all over Medina. Okay, not just me. And the guards, the guards and I together, we did an excellent job in keeping that knowledge available for the young generation. And I'll always, everybody wants to say, why are you all with the guards? I love the guards. That's my family. It was the guards that and, my, and myself, we worked together as keeping this 120 alive for the people. Okay? So I always will be uh, 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 close with the guards. That's my family. Has been is now and always will be so get that straight okay i want you to understand that all right and always remember don't don't try to overlook some of you got some of these christian minded negroes out there that trying to overlook shabaz shabaz is your father okay the lost foundation of islam in america is shabaz okay understand that okay it's shabaz all right you see and that's and, 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 and Shabazz is the father of everything, okay? Underst understand that. Uh, uh, understand that. He is your father. No getting around it. Sh Shabazz built the nation of Islam. All these Johnny come lately wasn't available, wasn't around. And, sh and, and the nation of Islam was built with grass root. There were no educated college Negroes at that time. It was always grass root, okay? The, 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 the dope pushers, the alcoholics, the drug addicts, the prostitutes, all these different uh, 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 a way of life at that time amongst the grass root. Shabazz built the nation of Islam. So all y'all who wants to walk around with a pen and pencil like you was here all the time and made a, a contribution, just sit down and chill out. And know that Shabazz Allah is your father, and don't you ever forget it. So if you want to know how come you talk about poor righteous teachers, yes, we teach poor, but we live large. Because we work like a slave, but we live like a king. This is his car. Check it out. This is what he works in. This is, this is, this is what he bend in. Okay? This, this is what he, and he earned it. He earned it. He's not, he's, not, he's not one of those 10% blood suckers that depend on poor people, charity, donations, contribution, and offerings. He earned it. And, okay, and the whole community love him, they respect him, and they support him. You know what? Okay? They love him, they respect him, and they support him. All right? Right. Okay? And they don't boycott him like some of you so-called Negroes always talking about buy black, but you don't support the black. You go and support the white. Okay? We know where you're coming from. We know who you are. So if, you, if you're going to teach buy black, patronize black. Don't holler you open your mouth, buy black, and you don't, and you don't support black. But we know who you are. So don't think we, we, we don't know what time it is out here. Okay? So this is your bill. That's his ride. Me walking in to take a good look. Okay. I'm standing by what he vending. This is his working car that he earned. Okay. He didn't get this from blood sucking poor people. Okay. He gets this from being out on the sidewalk in the sunshine, in the cold, in the rain, in the snow. Okay. Every day he's out here. Okay. Shabril. 
Supreme Shabazz Allah. We love him, we respect him, and we support him, and he motivates all the young brothers in of this community or how to do the same thing. So anybody talking about you ain't got no program, it's because you're lazy, good for nothing, and you don't want no program. Because if you ain't got nothing else to do, put up a table, okay, out in the street and service your people and stop making all these here weak, petty Christianity excuses. Take your face out that Quran and that Hadith and put your face back in Message to the black man, fall of America, our savior has arrived, and stop playing. Because the whole program of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is economics. And if you're not learning economics under his program, then whoever you talk to, whoever you listen to, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Because the messenger was the man of economics. Do for self means you got to have an economical program that's beneficial for your people and the only thing out here that benefits for your people and can motivate your people is the teaching of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Here's Shabil, Supreme Shabazz Allah, one more time. Shabil, so now I have a question. Since Melchizedek expounded on you being out here and, you know, the work that you put in, how could I imagine that one would want to know if they were interested in doing something like that? I mean, how, what kind of dedication does it take and how would they go about that? I think, I think the first thing that we must recognize is that being an entrepreneur, being somebody that um, is in charge of their own business, you know what I'm saying? Being somebody that uh, makes money on their own, uh, <laughs> we have to understand, man, that we have to teach our children. They can go to school and study in the white man's system. They can go to school and get the white man's education, but we must teach them how to be independent on themselves, how they can be uh, entrepreneurs like I am. You know what I'm saying? And making money on the street. You know what I'm saying? Honest money. You know what I'm saying? But the whole objective is, is to be your own boss. Is to run your own companies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, is to run your own firms. You know what I'm saying? Is to run, have your own banks. You know what I'm saying? Have your own system. See, we have to understand that black people were, were rich in this country. You know what I'm saying? The white man came to Oklahoma and, and burnt everything down. They called that Wall Street. And that's where it came from. But black people didn't want us to stand on our own two feet. So they burnt it down. But we have to understand, we got to get back to economics, man. Because that's the only thing that's going to take us out of this conditioning that we're in. We have to be our own bosses and control our own destiny. You know what I'm saying? The only reason why I got a, I, I, I got a car like this, man, is to be independent. You know what I'm saying? And work and save my money, man, if I want to have something like this. You know what I'm saying? Or anything that I might want to get in my life. You know what I'm saying? You have to earn money in order to manifest something like this to make it, you know what I'm saying, uh, what you want to make it. But you got to put the work in at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? You got to put the work in at the end of the day, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I'm so glad, man, that this elder came out here to visit me today, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm so glad that this brother here came out to visit me today. You know what I'm saying? And actually uh, come to Brownville, man, where he originated from, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, the plight of America. My brother. Come here, man. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm watch it. I want you to answer this question for the people, man. Do you think that black race will make it out of, of, of the conditioning that the European have put them in? Or do you think, man, that uh, it's all over? No. Black people will rise up as far as the nation is concerned, as far as unity, love, and respect is concerned. It's not the black people. It's your corrupted administration, okay? Corrupted administration, corrupted of uh, 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 laborers, and of, uh, 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 that's, that's the problem, okay? Administration and the laborers, those in front, they are blocking the progress of black people. All the rich ones who are in position have the money and are able to go in their community that they came out of and rebuilt their community. They know the needs of the community. Daycare centers, educational centers, recreational centers, of uh, senior citizen citizens, uh, low uh, affordable housing development, okay? Administration, laborers, administration and laborers and officials 
those are the ones that are blocking the progress of the people because they got comfort they got they got into the comfort zone okay and as long as they're in that comfort zone but the grassroots is going to bring them back into reality because no matter how you try to overlook the grassroots remember you came from them they know you okay and if you don't do something constructive for them they're going to move against you okay it's not the rank and file and when once the and once the rank and once the once the the rank and file learn to ask questions, they gotta learn to ask questions. What are you doing with our money? Show us what you did with the money. We want to know what you did. And if you haven't did nothing with the money, then where is the money? We are tired of conversation. Show us what is being done as far as economical uh, uh, is concerned and far as the, 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 the development the development of the community or what's being established in the community. Okay? All the talking is over. The Quran failed. The Bible failed. Okay? The Hadith failed. The whole educational system failed. And the messenger made a plan after when everything failed, then here come Islam. Islam is about economics, building a nation. Okay, in every community where you see a, a church or a mosque, in that community is supposed to be established a daycare center, an educational center, a recreational center, a senior citizen center, okay, and a shelter for the homeless. Also, we have an area for a burial ground. It's a shame that now people have now been understanding when they pass away, they have to be buried next to Christians in a Christian cemetery. It's time we have our own cemetery. And enough money has came through from all different directions, north, west, east, or south, to accommodate each community on what they need. No excuses is acceptable. We don't need to hear about Bush, we don't need to hear about Trump, we don't need to hear about nobody. All we need to hear about what are you rich and so-called famous is going to do for the people in the community that you came out of. Okay? Let's get real. Stop playing because your slave master is watching you. And if you don't do nothing for your community, he's going to deplete your whole uh, uh, income to nothing. And so don't go bragging how much money you got in the bank because he can erase everything you got if you're not doing nothing with it for your people with one word, zeros. Hit zeros and you have nothing left. Have a nice day. It's a pleasure. Love you. Respect you. Nothing personal, but it's about economic. Do something. And you're in possession to do something, so don't talk about it. Just do it. Okay? Melchizedek, Supreme Shabazz Allah, it's a pleasure. Nothing personal. I love you. I respect you. But somebody got to talk to you, and I'm talking to you. Peace. At the end of the day, man, it has to be in somebody's heart, man. Because you have a lot of people in the community, that they, they say they're about the community, but a lot of these individuals, man, are full of shit, man. They talk a good one. But far as them actually being in the community, mean going from house to house, talking to family members about what's going on in the house with certain predators that these women are dealing with, man, that got the mind of a Caucasian uh, man. We have to understand, man, if we're not involved in the community, man, you know what I'm saying, and seeing what's happening with these children, with these uh, children getting molested, with these children uh, going through a lot of hells, man, you know what I'm saying, that these parents are putting them through because these parents parents went through hell but there was no doctor there was nobody there to actually talk to these parents and guide them and put them on the right path at the end of the day man like me me and Melchizedek man you know what I'm saying at some point when we was younger we was there giving them guidance man and this is why this brother is with me today because anybody that's having problems in the household if you don't know how to be a parent if you don't know how to stay on top of your children, if you don't know how to teach them black history, not only the European history, but black history, you got to teach them something about themselves, man. You know what I'm saying? And you Christians, I got to say this. You can believe in Jesus, you can believe in all of that, but make sure he look like you. At the end of the day, this is where we got to start at. You know what I'm saying? If it's a Muhammad, you know what I'm saying? Make sure the Muhammad looks like you. If there's a Buddha, Make sure the Buddha looks like you. You know what I'm saying? Let's stop 
uh, 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 perpetuating our enemy as our deity. Because at the end of the day, man, it's about us, man. The God is not on the outside. The God is right inside of you. You have the final decision, man, when it comes to you uh, coming to your community, man, being uh, 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 able to give somebody some information to keep them out of trouble, man. A lot of you brothers in the community, man, stop teaching these young brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? And give them some values, man, uh, uh, about themselves, man. Let these brothers, man, have insight that's going to come from you and your experience, man, on the streets, man. This has been rough, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, for me, man, I've been through hell and back. You know what I'm saying? In my community, man. You know what I'm saying? And actually uh, 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 teaching and giving people information, man. In Brownfield, a rough area, man. And matter of fact, man, let Mel Chester that, man, give you some insight on what he feels about the community and what can be done to raise the people up. Yes, uh, I bear witness to every word he said because that's right and exact. But the family members, the fathers and the mothers, okay, you have to work with the youth, okay, and you have to set counseling uh, sessions with them, after school programs after them. You got all these churches, all these churches should have after school programs for the young generation. When they come out of school, they can go there for further counseling. All these community centers that are available, open the doors. All you preachers, open your doors to these churches. There's nobody in there from Monday to Wednesday because your payday is usually Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So during the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, open your doors for the young brothers and sisters can have a place to come after school to do their homework and get further counseling. And you parents, the fathers, don't always have the mothers up front. Every time something go down, the father's nowhere around. Why do the women always got to be in front? Where are the fathers, okay? Whether you're, whether you're in a relationship with the mothers or not, keep a relationship with your children. I always keep a relationship with my children, okay? Wherever my children, they know how to get in touch with me, whatever go down with my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, I'm in their life. You fathers have to get in the life of your children and stay in the life of your children. Now you have all these community centers that's vacant. Why can't there be uh, 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 centers for counseling for the young generation? And I noticed another thing, you leaders, y'all don't push the issue about pull your pants up. Okay, pull your pants up. You, do you know what the young brothers tell me? The reason why they have their pants down? Because by you all not taking interest in them, not showing them no love, okay, know what they're saying to you? The reason why their pants is like that? Because they're telling you to, to, to how, to, how they feel about you by letting you kiss their, 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 uh, their, their body part. Okay? No. Get involved with your children. You want to see a homework. You want to see a home when they come home? Where's your homework? Let me see your report card. Check to see if they went there to school go, or not. Right, that's right. A lot of children be out of school for two and three weeks and you don't know nothing about it. Okay? Get, you want to report. You want to report on what they're doing. Okay? Their attendance in school and the report on their marks in school. Okay? Instead of buying them a cell phone and, and two hundred, three hundred dollar sneakers, and they're not bringing good marks home from school, and not going to school. What are you wasting your money for? Don't be weak for children. Don't let children raise you. You raise children. Whoever's in your household, they go along with your rules and regulations. And the foundation of your household rules and regulations is get your education. Ah oh, man, come on over here, man. I got another old brother, Muslim brother here. You know what I'm saying, you know, from the old school, man, you know what I'm saying, you know, he's a good friend of mine here, man, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, he's in the Nation of Islam, brother, active, actually doing work in the community, man, you know what I'm saying, uh, give them some insight, man, on what you would do if you was elected to a, a, a position, if they elected you, man, in the community, what would you do to help black people? Uh, my name is Bilal Malik, if I get elected... Coming September the 13th, the first thing is to gather all the young men and old men together and cut the violence, put the guns down, pick up the book. And then we will start organizing so we can make our own community, we get our own stores to support our own self. Our money only stay in the neighborhood. Till three to four, maybe five o'clock when they close, 
our money go. We got to start doing our thing. Support your own. That's what you got to do. And now if I get elected September the 13th, we need more education in the community. We need more jobs in the community. We need everything that we can do for self. God bless y'all. I'm running for district leader. Okay, I'm running for district leader and my daughter is running with me as female district leader. Her name is Yasmin Ruffin and my name is Bilal Malik. We grow in this morning and we need this. We better than what they say Brownville is. We are better. We could do better. We got to stick together and support ourselves. We got to respect each other. Respect the oldest, respect the youngest, respect them all. From the cradle to the grave, we got to respect each other and unite, unite, unite. This is one of our brothers, man, from our community, man, who is conscious, man, you know what I'm saying? This is not a dead individual or just selling you a dream. Because most politicians, you know what I'm saying, say a lot of stuff at their mouth, but they don't mean nothing. All they trying to do is get your vote, you know what I'm saying, and they're worse than the white man, some of these so-called politicians and browns in our community. This is one brother, you know what I'm saying, who loves his people. This is one brother who advocates for his people. This is one brother that will stand up against any forces that's coming against against black people in his community, man. So you have to worry about anything when you got this brother, you know what I'm saying, in power. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna make sure that there's jobs for the youth. He's gonna make sure that they have the, uh, the, 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 these empty centers that the brother spoke about earlier, man, is functional where kids can go in there and have activity so they're not bored, so they can have things that they have to do so they don't have to get in trouble being, in, you know, being on the street selling drugs or doing whatever negative things they want them to do so they can lock them up. Remember, Remember, jail is a business, man. Jail is a That's business. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they got to have people inside these jails in order for them to get money. So the first thing they're going to have to do, you know what I'm saying, is have no job for the youth. A little bit of job so the rest of the youth can go out there and sell drugs, rob, steal, stick up, whatever they got to do to survive. This is a master plan in our community. But brothers like this and brothers like over here are brothers that's going to stand up against anybody who's trying to bring the black race right. down in Brownsville. Amen. And one more thing. All you brothers, all you fathers, get involved. Get involved. It's your children out here that's dying in the streets. That's right. Get involved. Communicate with the mother of your children. If, you're not, if you and the mother of the children are not together, keep a beautiful communication with the mother of your children so she can keep you informed of all activities uh, pertaining to your children. You want to know, are you in school? You want a, 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 a report, a report of all these grades and everything. You want attendance report. You want to know if they're going to school or if they're playing hooky from school. Get involved. Put your petty differences aside and you and the mother of your children, y'all get together, have respectful communication, That's okay, right. pertaining to the welfare, the education, and the, and the life of your children. One thing most in this uh, school system that they got, they took the central product of being self-efficient from the young youth. They took home economics, science, music, all of that out of school. They don't have no afternoon center where they could get off the street to go to. They don't have nothing. They, and they trying to say this is a dead society here. We are better than that. We got scholars here. We got people that's in positions that don't want to come back and help their own. You got to help your own. You got to grow with your community. You, I'm in love with my community. I had plenty of time money to move out of the community. I decided to stay to try to help. There ain't no band-aid here. There's not no thing. They look over us. We need to get together and unionize. Thank you, brother, man. Listen, man, at the end of the day, man, I want everybody to know, man, that we got to work together. We got to come together, man. We got to stop fighting one another, man. Christian, Muslim, Buddha, whoever you are, man, you know what I'm saying? Whatever religion that you're in. At some point, man, we got to put that religion down, man, and, and, and deal with individualisms. Individualism, I mean, we all from Africa, man. We came here at some point, man. If it was from the islands, you know what I'm saying? If it was from uh, Costa Rica, wherever it is, black people are, are there. 
they came from Africa, the origin of them, man. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And we got to start looking like that, man. The, 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 the Spaniards, the French, you know what I'm saying? The, uh, 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 give me some names of some white people here real fast. Oh, they got French. Mean, German, period. French, German, French, German, French. French. They all stick right. together at the end of the day, man. Swedish. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yugoslavian. When they have to come together as one people, they come together to suppress Africa. Yes. You know what I'm saying? They all come together to, to, to get all the resources out of that country. Because right. there's no resources in Europe. Right. They ain't got nothing there. It's all in Africa, man. Right. And they've been having their foot on our neck forever. It's time to raise the foot off our necks, and it's time for us to stick together, man. Right. And to start. And it starts in that family. Unite. Unite. You got to love your brothers. You got to love your sisters. You got to love your aunts. You got to love your uncles. You know what I'm saying? You got to love. You got to love each other, man. At the end of the day, it's too much hatred going on, man. Jealousy, man. Envy, lust, hatred, man. Too much going on in our families, man. It was too much, man. And they all, all these different ethnic groups, they come into the black community to blood suck poor black. People and take the money out of the community to go put in their community and then they don't allow you in their community and don't they don't invite you in their community they come to blood suck your community and one more thing we don't need no liquor stores in the community put the liquor stores in the shopping mall any liquor store in the black community shut it down let them put that in the shopping mall we don't need that okay I gotta say one more thing, man, then I'm gone. You don't see no black people stores in Chinatown. You don't see nothing but the Chinese. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you have the all the, 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 the different communities, man, the, the, the Germans, the, the Mexicans, whoever they are, man, you know what I'm saying, the Russians, you don't see no black stores in their communities. We got to stop allowing these people to come in our community and get rich and take the money out. Peace and black power.